What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one, all right? And we are going to have a good time with this one, all right? Because once again, I'm talking about Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, for those of you that don't know, what I like to do here with these series of reviews is I like to do what I call journal reviews, okay? Now, what is a journal review, you're probably saying to yourself? Well, MM2K does not like to just rush to the finish line and put something out there first. You know what I'm saying? Like you got a lot of big name publications and even content creators, even the small ones. They, they, they're playing this game where they're rushing reviews. They wanna be out there first because they wanna catch the attention of everybody. And if you're, if you're last, you're trash, right? I don't go by that mantra. Um, I think there's a way to, where you can kill two birds with one stone. And I'm not gonna rush and give you my full review when I haven't fully vetted the game, but I can at least keep you abreast of where I'm at as I go through the game. You know what I'm saying? Give you my early on impressions, you know, while the iron is hot. And then for those that are still interested, they can keep, you know, looking at the game if they're on the fence or whatever and make their decisions based upon, you know what I mean? Uh, what I have to say about the title, but I'm not gonna give a full review until I fully vet the game But at the same time you can see where I'm at with my progress So I do these journal reviews and I actually give scores within those uh, within those reviews And then when I'm done everything gets averaged together. So let's get into it uh, Before I talk into more detail about Ghost Recon Wildlands and what my review was this time around Let me just give you guys uh, a quick look into how I review games again I go off of four basic pillars, visual implementation, uh, which includes graphics and physics, product placement. Did they really tell you what this game is about and did you get something like that in your hands or even better? Um, game depth, that includes level design, game length, replay factor, broad appeal, and lastly, game mechanics. How are the controls? Are the movements too stiff or whatever? Too loose, just right? Basic instructions and bugs. All right. So first and foremost, what I wanna say here, and let's get to, let, let me show you some gameplay of the game that I've had within my last chunk of time. Um, first and foremost, I wanna say that to let you know and be fully transparent where I fit in with this game so far, because there are two factions out there. You either love this game or you hate it. There is no nuance. I mean, unfortunately, that's just the state of gaming now, right? Everything's either the GOAT or it's trash. But it's more so with this game. You know what I'm saying? This game is very, very, very polarizing. I haven't seen a game this polarizing since Horizon Zero Dawn, right? So you either love this game or you hate it. Now, the haters are saying that, A, they think that Wildlands was better. You know, they don't understand why this game is out. The haters are also saying that B, that they're bored of the game. You know, the game isn't that much fun. And C, there's a lot of haters that are saying that the microtransactions are overwhelming and they really destroy the game. I wanna tackle all three of those things, um, particularly C, but first let me start with A and B. A, if you, as far as the game not being as good as Wildlands, um, I think as far as major pillars are concerned in a Ghost Recon game of this nature, you know what I'm saying? Is the world bigger? Yes. Um, is the world, uh, uh, or not just the world, is the enemy interaction more intense? Oh, definitely. I mean, this is the, this is the most challenging Tom Clancy game that I've played in a very long time. And uh, C, you know what I mean? How does the game look? Does the game look better than the previous installment? Yes, the game looks a lot better than the previous installment. Um, in this game, you know, you gotta worry about things like patrols coming after you, helicopters coming after you, um, being sighted by tanks and drones and stuff like that. It's a lot more intense than Wildlands, which is more arcadey. And I think that's where a lot of people are upset about. You don't have the flash and bang and boom of the arcadey style of Wildlands. Um, what you have here is you have a game that's less uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Commando and it's more uh, Sylvester Stallone Rambo, right? And I'm gonna fast forward to some more action here. Um, with that being said, if I'm a veteran of Tom Clancy games. I wholeheartedly way more appreciate uh, a game like this than I do a type of game that is just um, arcade and boom, you blow up some. I got bored with Wildlands quickly. So that's where I fall as far as it being, a, a Wildlands being a better game. As far as it being boring, this is less flash and pizzazz, again, than Wildlands. This is straight gritty gameplay. 
That's what this game is about. It's strictly about cat and mouse. It's a perpetual state of cat and mouse, this game. It's about, do they have a leg up on you? The enemy, the wolves? When the wolves have a leg up on you, can you escape? Or B, do you have a leg up on the wolf when you're trying to complete a mission? It's a perpetual state of cat and mouse. And if you love feeling like Rambo, you know what I'm saying? If you love that Rambo-esque feel, then in gaming, you know what I'm saying? That more tactical, slower pace with 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 the payoff at the end. You know what I'm saying? It's not run and gun. You can't run into a place for 40 people and expect to 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 make it out because you got a badass gun. The, again, these are 40 people. They have rocket launchers, mortars, and all this stuff. All right? So if you love the preparation or the tactical sense of games with a big payoff at the end, meaning that, you know, after you've looked at every score inch and then you go in, then this is the game for you. If you want to just be able to run and cut through games like butter, eh, maybe not so. You know what I'm saying? But the last part I want to address is the microtransactions. People who say that the microtransactions are uh overcoming uh they're lying okay this game is gives you so much it gives you too much stuff it's actually a negative thing it gives you too much stuff stuff and it, it takes away from the sense of accomplishment so because it takes away from the sense of accomplishment and you get too much stuff microtransactions are the problem because you don't need them only a bonehead would get microtransactions unless it's for skins and i get that there's microtransactions for guns and stuff like that but again you don't need them in this game i have money that i don't even need to spend you know what I mean? So don't fall to that hype. But let's get into the overall game. All right, so here's what I got to say. First and foremost, where I left off prior is I felt around 8.4-ish with the game. And 8.4 um, on my scale is about pretty damn good, okay? Um, I got to admit, I've bumped that down some, okay? <laughs> I bumped that down some because... Mainly because I call me dumb, call me an idiot, but I wasn't aware that uh, <laughs> the game didn't have teammate AI. I just assumed that you started the game off by yourself, but eventually you would be picking up ghosts, additional ghosts to join your team. I didn't realize this was like a one man stand unless you go get friends. And a lot of these missions, again, are so intense and so challenging that they really get too drawn out without friends. So playing this by yourself, man, it, 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 could, be, uh, it could be a long drawn out affair. Um, I, I feel that, again, I, I enjoy the enemy engagement, but doing missions without friends can become mundane. Um, and there's too many circumference missions too. Like you just particularly go into a base and take that out and you grab a box. Then you go to another base, take that out, grab a There's not missions where it's point A to point B. Okay, you meet up with Fred and Joey here. And then after you meet up with Fred and Joey, y'all got to drive here, pick this up and then drive there. There's not point A to point B type missions. It's all circumference based. Now this, what you're looking at on the screen is a point A to point B mission. I had to pick up these two guys and we had to fight our way back to the faction base. There's not a lot of these so far in my 20 hours within the game you know what i'm saying and it's starting to have its run on the game um with that being said there's minimum glitches you know what i mean um as far as the game mechanics so overall i in my five hours of gameplay that i'm talking about right now i give it an eight you know an eight really to be exact an 8.025 if you average everything together um and that brings the overall score right now takes it down from an 8.4 to a 8.19 so i no longer feel that it's pretty damn good but it's still pretty good um again issues are the mundaneness of the missions ubisoft has to fix that and i think they can fix that by implementing more point a to point b missions um and wildlands did have those so I, I'll, I'll give that to wildlands but what they also have to do is they got to make particularly the sniper rifles but they got to make the weapons more meaningful um, because you can't take out anybody with a headshot. And I don't think that should be the case. I shouldn't be able to kill, even though I, I get this is more simulation than not, I shouldn't be able to kill a wolf that's 150, you know what I'm saying, gear set with a sniper rifle, with a headshot. There should be some type of superficial electromagnetic shield around them. And if my weapon is too weak, I can't even headshot them. You see what I'm saying? 
So I think that's something that Ubisoft can fix too, because you are dealing with uh, technology. It's the distant, I mean, it's the near future. There's technology involved. I think that's something that Ubisoft can do to to remedy that and make weapons more meaningful, particularly sniper rifles. It's not the other weapons, the LMGs and the stuff. I mean, they, they're they're well with the scale, but it's the headshot factor that becomes meaningless if you can headshot anybody with any gun. So with that said, that's my score right now on my journal review. Within the last five hours, I gave it an 8.025. Overall, I'm sitting at an 8.19. Pretty good. Pretty good for the game. Um, you know, and hopefully the monotony of the missions get broken up, but we'll see. So with that said, it's your boy MM2K with another review. I hope you enjoyed it. And with that all said, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.